right, guys, the time has finally come. I found a trailer for my welding machine. This thing, I mean, it's pretty, pretty stout already. I need to get new tires. I need to cut all these sides off, make it real nice and flat. I'm gonna get some eighth inch plate, plate the bottom. Um, I have to rewire the lights. The lights work, but they're kind of iffy. And um, I want to change this old school kind of hitch out. I mean, it works. I just, it's kind of a pain in the butt. It's old and kind of seizes together. So I'm gonna swap that out. And depending on, because I don't really care for this style of rim. You know, I'd rather have a five lug. So I might swap the hubs out to a five lug, get some new rims and tires. And then I might flip the axle because right now the axle is on top of the leaves. And because my truck's kind of higher, if I put the axle on the bottom of the leaves, it'll pick this trailer up to where I don't have to drop my hitch down so far. I can run a regular hitch, get a little more clearance. That way if I'm going on job sites or somewhere where there's a lot of bumps and whatnot, I'll have plenty of clearance. So stay tuned guys, this is going to be the next project for, I might do it in one episode, I might do it in a couple. Uh, we'll just see how easy and how smooth everything goes and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Alright, just got the trailer back, got some new heavy duty tires on it, rides way smoother, it's not bouncing around. Next portion, we're going to cut all these sides off, let's get after it. stripped out. Let's see if we can kick it out.
All right, guys, this is what I got so far. I'm going back and forth if I want to cut this off or not. I could utilize this to hold my bottles. Honestly, now that I'm stepping back and looking at it, I'm gonna cut it off. I'm gonna measure this out. I'm gonna make sure all the welds are good. I'm gonna to try to clean up as much of the surface rust as I can. It's actually not too bad. A lot of it's just old wood. Um, possibly put another cross brace here and here just because i'm going to have a lot of weight the welder is going to go over the axle i have my toolbox probably up front or up at the rear i'm not sure yet um these i'm going to leave for now just because i got to drive this to my house and these are already wired but i do have new lights so eventually that'll be cut off and uh still debating if i want to flip the axle or not but yeah Demo's almost done and we're gonna start building this thing out. everything cut off now i'm gonna go wire wheel all the rust and see how good the metal is still if there's any weak spots i'll, I'll patch those up um yeah it's looking good so far the chunky dust rust and all that stuff and then i'll go back through and fine tune everything with a flat disc All right, so next we have a little bit of a gap. I, when I when I sheet the top of this, I want it to lay flush. And right now we got a two by two sitting under a piece of quarter inch angle. So I'm just gonna weld some quarter inch flat bar crossed. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's just giving that support of that eighth inch sheet. So when I lay everything, I can stitch weld it from the bottom. The top's gonna be flush. I'm not gonna have any weird little bumps or I'm not gonna have to fight with anything. So I'm gonna stitch weld this every foot or so, front and back. I gotta do it for this one, this one. I'm debating on this one because I might shorten it. I might do something different with the back. We'll, we'll get to that when we get to it.
All right, so this is what I got so far. I just added a piece of quarter inch. So everything's gonna lay flush. Now for the backside, uh, I didn't really feel like cutting this whole back piece off and messing with that. I'm trying to get this done as quick as possible so I could sheet it, put my welder, all my all my tools and whatnot and start getting back to jobs. Um, so I had a piece of one inch by quarter inch laying around. I'm just gonna stitch it on the backside, front side. And that way when that plate lays, I'll just butt it up to here and then I'll stitch weld the plate to the back and along the edges. And then depending if I get any flex or anything from it just being stitched on top, I might go through and put a couple on the bottom. We'll find out. I'm going to have quite a bit of weight on here, so I'm, I'm pretty confident the plate will be just fine stitched around the edges, but we'll see. to get a better idea of kind of what I was talking about now everything is flush so when I lay that plate on top I'm not gonna have any weird gaps flush all the way around so now all I have to do is get the sheet sheared from my local distributor they charge a dollar per cut so that's not too bad saves me going through a bunch of cutoff discs because I don't have a plasma cutter that's next on the list to buy but first let's get the rig built all right got the sheet in gonna head back to the shop stitch weld it in and then figure out what i'm gonna do with these lights all right got some eighth inch sheet on the trailer I'm gonna stitch weld probably every foot. And then I wasn't planning on doing the underneath. I'm not gonna go overboard with it, but I do want to do like a two inch weld on just everything in the center, just, just so I'm not getting flexed. Just a little extra precaution, but enough to where if I need to change it, I know I only have to cut those center ones out to pop it off. progress got the sheet all stitched on got the job box ready to go i'm gonna run to the other shop where my welder's at i'm gonna test fit that and then i'm gonna see if i want the box at the rear or the front depending on how the welder sits i gotta make room for bottles and reels and whatnot but yeah it's coming along all right guys sorry i didn't film me putting this on i had one of the guys from the other shop bring their forklift over and help me out but i think this is where i'm gonna keep the welder and then I have a spot for my bottles and then I'll probably do like my reels for my welder somewhere either here or here. And then for my bottles, I'll do a reel probably on the fender, have a little workspace or, you know, if I got to haul some scraps or whatever, I got quite a bit of room, but you know, a good friend of mine said, center the welder on the trailer so you can pick it up and move it around with, with ease. So I played with this a couple ways i flipped it around had it had it this way had it this way and then i centered it to where i can pick up the tongue pretty easy and i can walk around with this thing and i got quite a bit of weight on this already so i think this is where it's going to stay i just got to mark my holes drill and bolt this bolt this down after that you know i'm off to the races with work i can work like this as for my leads and reels and all that, do a couple jobs and save up some money. I'm in no rush to get that. What I have right now is gonna work out perfect. So yeah, guys, this is uh, it's coming along. Stay tuned for the finished product.
All right, guys, this is gonna end it for part one of the mobile welding trailer build. Um, I got it to a point now where I can load up and I can get back to work. I have a job I gotta go bid right now, take some measurements, get a quote out to the client. This is what I got so far. Uh, part two, I'm gonna wire in permanent trailer lights. Right now, I just have these magnet kind of uh, temporaries. So I'm gonna wire in lights. I'm gonna mount my oxygen acetylene and possibly MIG bottle. Uh, Still debating what I'm gonna do in the back. I might build a little workbench, who knows? Hopefully by that time I get a couple jobs, get my reels for my cutting torches. I need to get a vise and maybe cut out a little section so I can put a little saw, cold cut saw or something. There's a lot of ideas I got for this thing. So uh, stick around guys and part two should be out in no time. Thanks for watching.